Hello. Everyone in this video, I will review one of the inspiring films Scam 1992 from 2020. Scam 1992 stands out with its commendable acting, a compelling script, and its historical relevance. It accomplishes something unprecedented in Western TV shows and movies by demystifying the complexities of the stock market. While Michael Lewis touches on similar themes in his books, such as The Big Short, the TV series takes a more concrete approach. In the first 70% of the narrative, we follow Harshad Mehta's journey as he enters the stock trade market and becomes a bull. The concept of promising huge returns and sustaining profits as long as stock prices rise is well explored. Meta's illegal loans to keep the market afloat at a layer of tension, leading to an inevitable crash. The portrayal of Citigroup betting on a market decline, exploiting Meta's corruption, and using journalists and rumors to accelerate the crash is particularly intriguing. The technical details and terms, especially portrayed by the Citigroup actors, contribute significantly to the drama. However, the later episodes, post the revelation of the scam and Meta's financial downfall, lose some of the initial intensity. The abundance of threatening and crying scenes can feel somewhat directionless. The inclusion of a female journalist uncovering the scam adds a fascinating dimension to the ongoing drama, but it loses its shine once the scam is exposed and legal consequences seem elusive. The portrayal of India's legal system, where rich and famous individuals often evade imprisonment, is a poignant aspect of the series. The struggle to bring influential figures to justice is depicted cleverly, highlighting the flaws in the legal system. Despite its strengths, the series has some shortcomings, notably in its occasional low-budget feel. Some scenes lack the vibrancy needed to depict India and its 1990s culture. The reuse of sets and limited exploration of the city landscape detract from the potential to enrich the narrative with a deeper sense of time and place. In conclusion, while Scam 1992 excels in portraying the intricacies of the stock market and the gripping drama surrounding Harshad Mehta's rise and fall, it could have benefited from a more expansive depiction of the historical and cultural context. Nonetheless, the engaging dialogue compensates for some of these visual limitations. I have never given 10 out of 10 to any Hindi series, but this time I was unable to stop myself from rating it 10 out of 10.